Hi, folks. Uh, uh, we're now on Liam Galvin's channel. Hope you've been watching Jason on Jason Mariner's channel. Make sure you subscribe to Jason because he's a very entertaining man. And we've been having a very interesting chat about his, uh, his little trip to Bruges, which was a cultural trip to see all the kind of architecture and stuff like that. You, you enjoyed it, didn't you, Jason? Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> So if you haven't seen it, Jason was locked up in a, in a warehouse. Uh, just give us a little rerun of some of it in case people haven't watched it on that channel. Well, just nice and quickly, they can watch it yeah. on my channel. But I'll just yeah. quickly think, look, the old Bill nicked everyone. It was a, it was a, it was a, uh, obviously a European game. They've nicked us, put us in a warehouse, but they, they're bringing more in than, than, than no one's going out. Yeah. There's more of us than the old Bill. We turn on the old Bill and give it to them and thing and, you know, yeah, listen, it, yeah, it's awesome, mate, honestly. Yeah, got paralytic drunk that night after we escaped from the great escape from when yes. we escaped from the like great escape, yeah. Yeah, got, 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 got away and... Uh, what was that moment decided. like? Where when the, the warehouse doors open and everybody, well, we make press, we make, make well, what the, the, when we look when we look back and look on it, yes. we make press the thing. Yes, it's right up the other end. We sort of <laughs> press 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 the thing. The doors, the the, the shutter goes up. Yeah, fucking. Well, when I'm in a bar of thing, I said you, you could have done that fucking four hours ago. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Huh? Clever of him, though. Clever of him just to head over well, there. Well, not really, Liam. There's a huh? green button and a red button. I mean, come on, it ain't rocket science. <laughs> I love the image, and Jason's talking about it on the other channel, where you're running around the back of the water cannon trying to, to undo the whole thing. I mean, that yeah. it, it does remind me of the kind of great escape and everything, you know? It's very funny. Good for you, mate. That's it. The Brits abroad. You can't beat it, can you? Right. Uh, Stuart Martin, you mentioned 1977, Jace Chelsea got promoted in that year. I was one of the 10,000 Chelsea at Molyneux to see us get promoted. Best thing yeah, about it, yeah, Chelsea fans were banned from away games. So do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't there. I wasn't there, obviously, you know, 10, I'm, 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 I was 10 then, so I was supporting Chelsea, obviously, because it wasn't for the old man, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. Yeah, yeah fantastic. I don't know a lot about it, do you know what I mean? But... Right now, this is um, a few people still going on about your weight, Jason. Actually, I'm the one who's putting on weight. I can tell you that at the moment. Um, but this guy says, Danny, or Danny, uh, my friend George stays in Thailand and says that him being fat is a sign of being really well. Is that good? Right. Right. Liam, yeah, I'm going to show you something now. Right. Okay. About my, I, I mean, I didn't know I was getting called fat, but there you go. There yeah. you go. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Oh, you're doing well. You go, Can you see that? Can you see that? Right, I'll tell you what it is. 80 minutes today, 902 calories. Really? Right? Yeah. Done 1,052 calories Monday. Fucking these people, what they think I do just like fucking thing. But no, that's just, listen, look, it, look, listen, I yeah. should do more. I've got no, I don't make any bones about it. No. I should do more. But I'm happy with my life. You worry about your life. Who said that you've got to be this weight, this height, your hair must be this one. You can't eat shepherd's pie until five o'clock in the afternoon. Who said you can't have it for breakfast? Not saying yeah. I have it for breakfast. I'm just saying. Who makes up these rules? That's because different. It doesn't we are mean I don't do anything. We it doesn't are... mean I don't do anything. No. I fucking don't. I, I, I was trying to... 90, 80 minutes this morning. 90 minutes Monday. Absolutely. I've been Absolutely. on the piss Monday. Been on the piss next Monday. Me mate Matty and Brummy Dave's coming. So... <laughs> Yeah, so that, that, that sounds good. I think, you know, we are a bit indoctrinated in this country and everywhere. You know, you've got to be this, you've got to be that. Listen, it's other people, Liam. Yeah. I don't know why you've given them the time. It is what it is, mate. Listen. Yeah. Look, yeah. Actually, do, you know what, do you know what one good thing about over here? One, one good yeah. thing about over here, Liam, and it's a massive thing. Yeah. No one's judgmental, mate. There's nothing arcing. Uh, no one's judgmental. It's no one cares. Just get on with it. Do what you want to do. Yeah, we're, no, we no are. One cares. And I will say this, folks. I think in, in in England we are the most one of the most judgmental countries in the world. That if you Listen, don't go along see with the geezer, it, see the geezer. Hold on a minute. See the yeah. geezer that's just that, that said that. Yeah. He probably does an eight for Charlie every weekend. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's all right. That's yeah. all right. That's sweet. You know what I mean? Although I think I, I don't know if, if um, Danny is a girl or a boy, but he uh, oh, let's say it's a he. Um, I, I don't think he's uh, he's having a dick. It, listen, the girls do it just as much. The co-cores do it just as much as the geezers. I wouldn't worry about that, mate. Geezer yeah, or yeah. I Whatever. don't think it's I don't think it's a criticism because he's no. 
he's saying that you know even if you are fat which i don't think you are right and oh, does it matter I'm anyway overweight. Liam, Liam, I'm overweight. Don't worry. let's not get that twisted. Yeah. But you know what? Life over it. Don't worry yeah. about that. Oh, exactly. Don't worry. About it. I have a good life. I've done a little bit of training in the small. She went and played bad. Yeah. Thanks, boom and boom. I ain't done nothing. I've been in the swimming pool, in and out, in and out, in and out. Had a little, had a little nine mil jacuzzi. Didn't I? Had a little snoozy. Boom. Woke up. Talked to me old mate, Liam. Yes. And me and her probably spoke with a bit of screen later. Finished. Fantastic. What's Lovely. what's a life, folks? What a life. And yet in England, we're all choking yeah, I mean, ourselves to um, death. Oh, oh, and I've had the people, I've, I've had the people about, um, you know, oh, sorry, the bar didn't work. The bar was working. Don't worry about that. The bar was, I'm having all the work done on the bar at the minute. Yeah. Watch this shop. Watch this shop. I do, I do oh, yeah. Shop, you, so. you, you've had a lot of people saying, oh, the bar's been shut down by the police. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, sorry. That's what my mate told me. Well, let me tell yeah. you one thing. Yeah. The, the cousin that I pay. Yes, he's up there, mate. He's up there, the top, top old bill. Yes, right? he's one of the top old bill here, right? Yeah, and to be fair, what I normally pay him, I don't even need him now, right? Yes. Because I, I haven't got the bar, so yes. the bar hasn't been shut down by the police at all. They can't help themselves, these people <laughs> with their jack and all this, right? <laughs> I decided yes. my mate seems to. I should just keep it open for the World Cup and all that. You're smack. Listen, I'll be truthful with you, Liam. I will earn more money out of having a bar, yeah, than I will when it's when it comes to the expat shop. Although the feedback from the expat shop has been fantastic, right? Brilliant, brilliant. But let me tell you, but yeah, but let me tell you, right? I don't. I'd rather take less money and, and have, have less headache and less. Ain't yes. got to be there every night. Ain't got to do this. Ain't got to do that. People are going to get PG tips. They're not coming to see me. No, right? Through that, but what I am going to do. It's the cause of that I pay. Yes. I'm still going to pay him a little bit a month. Yes. Because if I do get nicked or do get this to do that, he's handy to phone. He's, yes. he's, he's, he's mustard. He's sweetening up. Listen, it's very corrupt over it. Boom, all of a sudden, I say to him, like, listen, boom, I'm down there, come and have a light out, buy him a couple of light outs, boom, yes. away we go. Whip yes. Off. He's plain clothed. His whole build don't look like he's got a little Mars body. He's got his ear pierced. He's quite youngish. He's just sitting around. He's top drug squad over here, mate. He's top drug squad. Not yeah. some all this uniform old bill and all that. If I get pulled up by the old bill, yes, I phone him and he says, "Leave him alone." Bump, 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 bump. See you later. Fantastic. There's nothing they could do. They're only dinlows. Yes, they're only dinlows. They're only normal old bill. This one is a about. I got shut down by the old bill. Where do these people make these stories up from? So but I've um, still got the premises. Yeah, I've still got the premises, but I've got been shut down by the old bill. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I, I'm presuming that you're going to do a nice vegetarian line of food for people like me of veggies and stuff like that. There might be a little bit, but they can get a bit of legal advice down the road, can't they? They yeah. can get all that advice right, down the road. Oh. 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 Right now, John Fitzgerald, it used to be 50p to stand in the shed. Now it's 70 pounds. What do you think of the price? Well, look, we, look, look, we've seen where it's going already, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, the World Cup, if as far as I'm concerned, should be boycotted. It's okay. all about money. The sky is this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Look, them days, the players were on whatever they was on. But not being funny, they was on like 150 quid a week. Yes. Or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, now they're on 150 grand a week, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? So it's, there's nothing we can do about it. It's not going to be reversed, is it? No. So I'm afraid. Of, but it's not 70 quid. It's not 70. You can get tickets at Chelsea with like 40 quid nowadays and what have you. Yeah. Uh, but then it does obviously go up. Like it does go up. But hold on a minute. 40, 40 quid. You've got three chavis and what have you. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, the time you bought three, to say, say you've got three kids and you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what you know. You've done 160 quid on beefs, just say for argument's sake. You ain't even had, you ain't even had a glass of water between you. Do you, you know, do I mean? you know <laughs> any of the? Do you know many of the old Chelsea players? And are any of them having a tough yeah. time financially and stuff like that, or are they, are they okay? Yeah. Loads of them. Loads yeah. of them. Yeah. Loads of them. Yeah, yeah. we don't have to name names, players. but yeah, yeah. it's just such a couple of them have been a bit cute. Couple yes. of them have been a bit cute, but you know, couple of them, couple of them are still working, like you know. Mm -hmm. You know, doing a bit of hospitality and a bit yes. of this, a bit of that. Yes. For the, you know, but but no, as as no, of course they are. Listen, it's a you shame, know, man. some of them have, have to go work. Some of them are painters, decorators now, or whatever they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Times will change, mate. Yeah. You know. Right, we've got Graham. Uh, hi, Ian and Graham. Uh, used to be Jason's flatmate back in the day. 
And I played football with Jason, who's a really good player. Uh, and Reese Morrow, Graham Moore, that is. That's Graham Moore. Got fucking fantastic. He was at Fulham. Morrow, fantastic. Guy. Really? Really? Yeah. He said, uh, Jason looked after me as well. He's a top man. You and Reese used to go on and have a few sessions together. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you talk about Graham or, or Reece? Yeah, which is from Graham. It's from Graham. Yeah, yeah, Morrow. Yeah, good fucking quality. What a player he was, by the way. Here, Terry, I'm not being moved. Overweight. Yeah. Right? Not, not being. What a player. He went to Fulham. He was at Fulham with Paul Parker. Really? Ah, right. fantastic. What a player. And, but do you know what? Genuine check. Tell you what. Oh, oh, try and do that, man. Pound, pint for pint. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. I'm telling you, I've never seen a man. I want to know if Moro still drinks. I should, I should text him. I want to know if Moro still drinks. If I tell you, yeah. he had 12 points to warm up. Remember Bill Werbenick? <laughs> Remember Bill Werbenick? 22 points. He, I'm telling you, he'd, he'd go in pint by pint with him. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'm a top shelf man, Liam. I'm a top shelf. So I'm yeah. a low and hardy. I drink Bacardi and Coke or right. vodka and lemonade or Grey Goose. Or blah, 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 blah. I like all that. He used to live with me. I'll say, yeah, we'd have a big crack on with a few bits and bits. Yeah. Have a, have a, I mean, but he'd tell you, I'll have a light hour. We're doing 18 hour, I mean, yeah. but he would have pint for pint. And I'd get him on the show. With the shorts, he was like, Papa, we just finished. I'm not going to finish. That's just ridiculous. I said, listen, mate, you got to turn in. Yeah, race nice, fellow, and all's absolutely marching right on race now. But, yeah, uh, yeah I hope more roads. Big love, more roads. Big love yeah. to you for the whole family. That was funny, that that uh, snooker player, Bill. Was it Wearing Boot? Yeah. Bill Werbenick, yeah, Canadian Bill Wernick, fella. Yeah. He used to be able to smoke, didn't they? They had the old boy yeah. scout, had the scout, had the thing, had the pint. He used to have a pint of fame. Yes. But he used to have four to steady his nose before he went out on the first. But he, he literally used to have, he, he, so I read about 22 points while he was playing. How I'm, could you play? I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you, I would put Moro with him on the pints. Don't care what you tell me. Yeah. 100%. Moro's my age. He's a year younger than me. 54 yeah. Wasn't there a like darts that. player who used to have to have the same amount of drink or something every time he had to play? Uh, I can't uh, remember who he was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone yeah. there. Right, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, go up just personally. What 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 was what was your worst binge that you went on? Oh, my Liam, Liam, I can't. Let's see, you're you're crazy. I've um, I've done twenty seven hours here before, and what, really? do you know what I mean, right uh, around, like, yeah, paralysed, drunk, like John Wayne looking for me all tonight. I ain't got a clue. I ain't come out my door for fucking a couple of days after that. I've left me alone. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. You've got to have a cut off. You've got to cut it off. Yeah, I like to cut it off about six o'clock in the morning. Me like to cut it off like the birds are tweeting, the fucking boom and boom, and they're saying over the milkman showing it up. Newspapers getting delivered. Do you know what I mean? I like that. No, just leave me alone. Yeah, I, uh, I don't yeah. think I could keep up with you, Jace. I just don't think it could. I could do. I might have the odd. No, okay, no, I don't drink now. I can't. can't well, do what it. the odd Schweppes tonic, Glenn? Yes. You're right. <laughs> little, yeah, been, people have been talking about me having a little Schweppes tonic on, on here. Uh, we run yeah. out today. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. You know, so uh, you normally have two a day, son. If you all remember yeah. rightly, you yeah, two a day. Yvette's giving me a juice. She, a... she won't let you have any more. No, she gave me this this kind of vegetable uh, juice thing. She wants me to lose a bit of weight. You know. Oh uh, my god. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit of the stomach going on and all that kind of thing. Um, Dean Kellard, what does your girlfriend think of Basingstoke? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you what she does do. She struggles to say it, I can assure you, let alone spell it. <laughs> so that's a funny one. Stephen Finch, great stuff. Uh, Mini Bury and out BKK. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, I've lived there for 19 years, and that's the first time I've heard uh, that fat kids are regarded as cute. Um, yeah, fat kids apparently in, in, I say fat, overweight. I'm not sure what the correct terminology these days is. Yeah, very, 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 make me cry. Sorry, go on. Yeah, uh, that uh, the, the overweight children in, in Thailand are regarded as cute, but not... Who said not. they was cute? Who said they was cute? Uh, Mini, a B-U-R-I-B-K-K, -K, who was a regular con uh, contributor. Yeah, who, actually, who, said that, who, who said they was cute in the first place? No one said well, he, he, says that he says that the people are, uh, that's what they think, that in Thailand... No, uh, no, what they used to say, what they used to say, they're a little bit more thing nowadays but what they use they're obsessed with their weight here the, the peckhams don't worry about yes, that right yes. but people aren't but people aren't judgmental but what they uh what 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 with with the english or not the english the phalang right which yes. is a foreigner what they used to say was 
It's a bit like if you had tattoos. They used to say you was mafia. When I first come here in 94, they used to walk up to me and start trying to rub them off. Oh, really? Now, they yeah. got, now there's loads of tattoo shops here. Yeah. It's a bit like if you was holding a bit of weight. If you was a bit overweight, yes. um, they used to think you was very wealthy. You, 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 ah, you, yes, that's you, right. right? Yeah. right? You, 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 you got money. You eat well. You drink well. You, you, yes. you live well. You're wealthy. That's what, used to, that's what it used to be here. Yeah, I'm just overweight. Not uh, so I'm much now. Money. Not so much now. No, no, that's that's right. <laughs> they want to know. Everybody's very interested in your treacle. Um, do you want to say anything about her? The Lambie Ten, Lambie Ten wants to know is, is is she from Thailand or? But you don't have to answer that. Thailand. Where do you think I live? Basingstoke. <laughs> she could be a, for a local girl from Basingstoke that you brought over. Well, much you, you are in Basingstoke. Sorry about that. Um, Bruce Duffy. She's been on the firm a long time. She's been on the firm a long, long time. She's been up in a village for about a matter of fact, I think she's going up there next week and all. Yeah. She's going back up to see her mum, uh, to see her granny and that next week. Fantastic. Bruce Duffy, are you going to be selling jelly deals on your uh, in your shop? No, nah, I can't get them here. You can get pie and mash here, though. Right, okay. Pie and mash here. What would you say is going to be the, the, the main big seller for you on, on the stall? You know, what? listen, you'll be surprised. People it, 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 in my shop, in my old lollipop, you, people like to still have the English bacon, English sausage and what have you, yes. right? Um, people want the iron brew. They want the, they want the, they want the, they want the chocolate, the crisps, the Walker's crisps and all that. And the, and the, do you know what I mean? They don't, they miss the home comforts. Yes. You could be very surprised. Silly things, you know, Warburton's like the crumpets and all that, you know, the snack yeah. and all that. You just, you, you'd be surprised. Obviously, it's just, it's, it's a lot dearer than at home, but yeah. it is what it is. Tin of corned beef, bang, you want to talk corned beef and tomato sandwich, get on that. What yeah, about that? Oh. Right, well, there's another one here. Yeah, he says, how the 1% govern the 99%? He said, uh, he said, I've heard the bar was closed by the old bills. Another one saying that. Can't see a <laughs> shop working, especially with a 7-Eleven so close. But isn't there a 7-Eleven everywhere in Thailand? What's 7-Eleven got to do with an expat shop? They don't sell Walker's Crisps. They don't sell Iron Bro. They don't sell Dairy Milk. They don't sell Bovel. They don't sell English sausages. They don't sell English bacon. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing to do with it. They don't sell corned beef. It's right. nothing to do. I think he's going to be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I've got to tell you, the feedback I've had there is off of the wall. Trust me. Fantastic. Now, Trust we're me. under a minute. We're under a minute, and this could suddenly go off in mid-sentence. But um, got anything else to say, Jason, to the people out there who've... Uh... No, apart from David Beckham is an absolute fantastic man for standing there with all them people, yeah. right, while the other two dogs... Especially one of them was very judgmental on me, but if you play with dogs, you get fleas. Very judgmental on me, but he lied to his wife for 27 years or however long, and his two daughters, right? And uh, but as I said on the channel, on the other channel, you know, I think we know who the who was on his firm, you know what I mean? But anyway, skip the queue, boom, boom, boom. David Beckham respects what a top man, and I know there was other people, but man wore the captain's armband for England, so in my book, what a captain he is.